Believe Nation, we are live. Happy, uh, what day is today? Happy Tuesday. Tuesday. Tuesday is my YouTube day, and uh, I've been filming videos all morning. I'm at the uh, spa here. Nina's getting a facial treatment, and so <laughs> Nina's joining. Hey, Nina. I'm, <laughs> Nina's in the room right there. Hi, Nina. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, we're taking a quick break to go live with you guys. Evan Tinsman in the house. Welcome aboard, man. And uh, let's see. JC here. I love it. Jay saying believe. I love it. Let's see. Let's see if we see. Looking for Jen. Jen in the house. Jen, if you're there, put a little message so we can bring you in. Uh, spent the morning doing some awesome new Espresso videos for you guys. Uh, taking a quick Time out here at the uh, at the spa. Nina's getting her facial stuff done, and uh, then we're gonna go make some more content when I get back. Uh, let's see. Believe Nation in Phoenix, miss you. We hope to see you soon. Phoenix was awesome. I had so much fun in Phoenix. Um, met some great entrepreneurs, and also uh, made some cool connections. That's where um, Dean, uh, Dean Graziosi is. That's where Joe Polish is. So tons of fun. Anyway, looking to go live with Jen. Let's see. Do I see her here? While we wait for Jen, if you guys have questions, comments, something for me, put it down in the chat. Let's see, Jen, 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 Jen. What do we got? Waiting for Jen. Where's Jen? I don't see her. Jen, if you're there, leave a little message so that I know. Your rap is awesome. <laughs> the rap was fun. Um, there was this Chinese song that was stuck in my head. And uh, it was 3 o'clock in the morning. I just woke up and said, you know what? I got to make, a, I gotta make a, a rap to this. For whatever reason. Uh, and so that we just birthed that into existence. So it was super fun. I, uh, I, wrote, the, I wrote the lyrics. I did three uh, attempts at filming it. And then I just loved the ending of, uh, of my third attempt. And that's the one we went with. So it was fun. People then say, well, when's the next rap coming out? I was like, well, I don't, I don't, uh, I don't know. I'm not, I'm, not, I'm not planning on it. But the next time I get inspired. I did, I did a rap to... Um, what did I rap to? Stressed out? Wish I could turn back time to the good old days. Yeah, that song I did I rap to. Uh, so those two. Those have been my two rap songs. If, if this whole YouTube thing doesn't work out for me for some reason, well, I'm going to pick up my rap career. Either gaming or rap. Those are my two backup plans. <laughs> those are my two backup plans. Gaming or rap. Jen, where are you? I don't see Jen. Am I am I am I missing it? Uh, we're looking, we're looking. Uh, anyway, well, if Jen Jen can't connect, then we'll we'll hang with you guys. Uh, Coach Coach Burhan in the house. How to gain momentum after a big setback? Just one more step, right? Like just one step. Momentum is one step. The biggest the biggest thing missing from most people is just momentum. And that's just taking the next step. So like, oh, look at that. Should we do that light? There we go. That's a little bit better. Look at that chandelier, guys. Holy cow. Some classy stuff in here. I don't know what this machine does. It kind of scares me. Looks like I've got tubes coming out of my back or something. But um, one step. One step. What do you want to do? What do you want to build? Instead of thinking about some giant thing. Like usually um, after a setback, it's easy to get lost and feel defeated and negative and nothing's working out and the next thing's not going to work out. And the fact that you, the problem is, the fact that it didn't work out means that you feel like a failure. The fact that this thing was a failure makes you feel like a failure. It wasn't that we don't interpret it as well. We don't have the skills or we just didn't have the, the right timing or the right connections or whatever. It's more that, no, I'm a failure. Because that was a failure, I'm a failure. And that's the thing that prevents the next thing from gaining some momentum. So recognize it was just a skill set issue, probably. Um, it doesn't mean that you are a forever failure. And then the next thing that you've got in your mind, instead of making it some giant thing that then becomes impossible to do, what's the next step? Like, what's the first thing you can do right now today? And once you start getting any kind of momentum, that starts to duplicate itself. That starts to keep building, right? You can keep going. You can keep building the next step, right? The biggest thing is just missing that first step. Zane, the man in the house. Oh, man, Zane, I was thinking about you this morning. So so Nina in the house, is in, who's in the other room there, uh, Set an alarm this morning for some reason, which is weird because we don't usually have alarms. Hold on. Let me just make sure if Jen is not in the chat before I go on this story. I don't know what happened to Jen. We had it confirmed. Anyway, it's all good. We'll, we'll, you, guys get, you guys get the bonus extra story time. So Nina set an alarm this morning for some reason. 
um, she said that she wanted to wake up early and go for a walk. Uh, anyway, so she set an alarm. It's the last time I, I don't remember the last time I woke up to an alarm. And uh, so, you know, alarm goes off, ring, 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 ring. And the first thing that comes to my mind is potato chips. I must have been dreaming about potato chips. I must have been dreaming about potato chips. So I wake up, I'm on a 90 day with Zen, the man here who's in the chat. We're on a 90 day, no sugar, no junk food challenge. Uh, so potato chips are definitely out of the question. But I woke up dreaming. I, w- I must have been dreaming about potato chips. It's the first thing on my mind. So, so then next step, go to the fridge where I've got my Flexi X calendar on it and says, no, we're not eating chips. 90 days. Let's go make it happen. Nina says facial. Nina's doing a facial. Yeah, Nina, Nina's in the room over there doing her facial. Uh, Zan's looking forward to something with Evan T. All right. I like it. Good times. Let's see. Let's see. Uh, Zayn hosted his first uh, gaming stream with me live last night. So Zayn is my co-host on my uh, gaming channel. We were supposed to be do. I was thinking in my head mentally kind of next week to launch. And then I just kind of had it set up last night. Said, hey, let's give it a shot. And it worked out. So congrats to Zayn. Okay, let's see. You guys got questions? Pop it down below. Angela, how much time is it okay to spend on social media? Uh, I would strongly encourage you to shift from being a consumer to a creator. Consumer to a creator, right? So how much time do I spend on social media? I don't know. Uh, How about filming videos? Does that count? Right? I mean, I was just filming videos all morning. Uh, What is this? Is, Is this on social media? Does this count? Right? It's switching it to, I'm actually creating content. So when I'm consuming, uh, I'm consuming to try to learn, to see what people are reacting to. I'm consuming what you're writing in the comments. But the danger of social media, social media is super powerful. It's a tool, right? So just like any powerful tool, you can use a chainsaw to, to cut wood and build a house. You can use a chainsaw and cut off your arm, right? I mean, a tool is only as, as <laughs> useful as the person using it. So social media is super powerful. I think turning off social media is not a long-term winning strategy because it's your greatest advantage to build a business. Like using the tools with social media right now is your greatest advantage to build your business. 2020, 2021. Uh, so you, could, you sh- maybe should be spending even more time on social media, but flipping it from consuming content to creating content, to making, uh, to be intentional with the time that you're using. The problem that people use with social media is you load up Instagram or TikTok or whatever. You're going to move me to room three? Why am I too loud? Why am I, why am I moving to room three? Oh, no, we are going to move you to room three. So you want me to move to room three, Nina? <laughs> I'm communicating with my wife who's here in this building <laughs> through the Instagram live. Anyway, let me know. Let me know, Nina, what, what you want to do. Um, Anyway, so you might need to be spending more time on social media. The Just moving it from, oh, I open up Instagram and then you're just scrolling and you realize an hour has gone by. Like, that's not helpful. That's not in service of your goals or your mission. Make sense? Let's do another quick check for Jen here in the chat. Oh, I see Erasmo. Welcome board, Erasmo. Welcome, Cindy. Welcome, Melanie. Welcome, Stan. Welcome, Barry. Welcome, Daniel. Welcome, Mercy. Welcome, Juan. Adriana. Got a lot of people. Welcome, Michael. Okay, I still don't see Jen, so I don't know what happened. But that's okay. More time for us, right? More time for us. Okay, let's see what we else. Oh, Petra's in the house. Petra, I was just watching your live. I didn't understand what you guys were talking about because it wasn't English, but I still <laughs> wanted to drop some love. Yesterday, I was late to your live gaming channel and could not understand why I could not type. Ah, yeah. So, you know, if you're not there live while we're, while we're doing it, you can't uh, ask questions. But the next one is Wednesday. So tomorrow, not today, but tomorrow, 6 p.m. Eastern, we're going live. And then I'm over a week off because I'm doing Tony's, Tony Robbins invited me to his uh, Date with Destiny thing. So the next live stream is going to be Friday, a week Friday. So this Wednesday, like tomorrow, and then a week Friday. It's the biggest break that I think I've had in, in a while from gaming. But Tony's events are just bonkers, all all in, all committed, so... And then after that, 
fairly consistent. Zan and I will have to figure out what the holiday schedule is going to look like, but it should be fairly consistent, at least from my end. Uh, okay, great. What else? Pop some questions down below. Let me see what we got. Tessa Marie Morning Blessings. Can you give a short tutorial on uploading IGTV to YouTube? Uh, are you in Movement Makers? Because we, we made a video explaining that in depth. Um, but basically, you download your video, you load whatever video editing software you have, and then you put IGTV, or um, IG is going to be vertical. You have to flip it. So usually with IG Lives, we take our I'm on top and the guest is on the bottom. We just flip it so that I'm on the left side, the guest is on the right side. And then you save that video just to flip it so that you have a horizontal video for YouTube. If you're in Movement Makers, yeah, then then we we went through this with Joshua. Um, if you check the right side, if you go inside the Facebook group and you check the right side, it'll show the previous sessions and go to the Joshua one. Um, I forget if it's 13 or 14 and you'll see the exact breakdown. What I also asked is for Joshua to make a 60 second version of it. So he's working on a 60 second version of how to turn your Instagram lives into a successful YouTube video. What? Yeah. Okay, I'm being moved. Hold on, guys. Here we go. I'm coming. Oh, do you need this room? Yes. Oh, they're going. <laughs> Nina, that crazy machine Nina needs now. Okay, so we're going into <laughs> we're going into another room here. Let's go. Let's close this door. Oh, look at this machine. What does that do? I don't know. Why do these machines look so scary? Okay, hold on. Let's set up here. Put my chair, and we'll go here. That's why Nina needed me to move. Okay, Nina's being moved around, so I'm getting moved around. Anyway, this is fun. So yeah, so Tessa Marie, um, stay tuned in Movement Makers as soon as we get that video done. And he's probably gonna show like 60 seconds in different, depending on your editing software. So 60 seconds how to do it in Premiere Pro, 60 seconds how to do it in whatever. <laughs> KB, KYB plan saying hurry up Joshua. I just gave him the idea. Um, the long form version, it, we already did the training. So the long form version is in Movement Makers on the side, but the short form one minute version. I just think it's like 60 seconds. Here you go. How to do it, right? Don't touch Nina's machines. <laughs> yeah, I know, right? <laughs> These look scary. What is this too? Look at that. Is that like a giant, looks like a giant drill or something. I don't know what the heck that does. Doesn't that look scary? I don't want that near my face. Oh, I think that's a laser. Okay, anyway, I don't know enough about this stuff. I'm here to support Nina. I will not touch Nina's machines and I will not turn on machines at random and put a laser on my face. Uh, okay. <laughs> what else? What else you guys got? Let's see. Next. Uh, where do we listen to your new rap? Uh, I don't have a new rap. The, the Chinese rap was, um, I don't know. How, how old was that? That's, that's a while ago. Six months? A year? So if you type Evan Carmichael rap, you, you'll probably find it. But I've only done... Too. And then the other one links at the end of the first one. So you can go in the end card, you can see the link to the other one. It was fun. I'm telling Nina, come on, KYB plans. Come on now. Let's go. This is a this is a private session here. Just you, me, and Instagram knows what's happening in this room here. Makes sense? Okay, what else? Uh, okay. How can I focus on facing fears and going straight to action? Uh, it's getting out of your head and just doing it. Right? As soon as you get an idea for something, you recognize, even worse, you get an idea for something, that's already should be action. You found that you're afraid of it, that's even, even more important than you go and take action on it. What's the first step? It's just finding the first step. Oh, Nina's, Nina's now watching in the other room. <laughs> Nina had that crazy scary machine on her now. So she's watching over there. <laughs> we love you, Nina. Um, now she's on this side. She used to be over on that side. Now she's on this side over here. So, uh, yeah, you get an idea, you do it, you're afraid of it, even more important, you just go do it. Stop thinking about it. Just find the smallest possible way to get started. Uh, even doing this, right? There's so many reasons why you can't do something. Even this, I could say, well, um, I'm with Nina, I'm not, I'm not at home, I'm not, I'm not in the car, I, I, where am I going to do it? This IG Live, like, no, it's 2 o'clock, I'm going to do my IG Live. Let's go. I'll start in that room, I'll move to this room. You know, if I have to whisper because there's other people, I'm too noisy. We could do that too. Like you always find a way. You find a way. 
Because this is, this is how you start to build self-belief and self-confidence, is when it's difficult, you still do it. When it's difficult, you show up. When it's difficult, you find a way. So the fact that you're afraid means you have to go do it. You have to do it. You have to do it. You have to do it. Evan Tinsman, you mentioned it. Your new top 10 that Nina hosted on you, that was a great video. Nina, Nina is showing up. Anytime it's an Evan video, Nina shows up. Oh, she's getting the four hearts too. Look at that. The bow approves this message. I love it. Uh, okay, what else? How can I contact with you easily? This is it. You're here. Welcome. You made it. Next step is come to the gaming channel. That's, that's the easiest one. The gaming channel, I go live for an hour and a half to two hours, four times a week. Uh, and not as many people show up, you know? We'll have like 10 people at a time show up right now. And so it's a good amount of time, not as many questions. So that's probably the easiest spot to get your questions answered. Even this IG Live, normally I'm with somebody, right? So I don't know what happened to Jen here today. But uh, let me just do one more check. I don't see her here. I don't know. Maybe a mis miscommunication on the timing or something. But usually I'm with somebody here live, so it's also hard to look at the questions. So I like it. I like being able to chat with you guys. Bring some extra value. Okay, what else? Uh, T-Gord, if, if there is one piece of studio equipment you would recommend to invest in first, what would it be? Um, I mean, your phone but you probably already have a phone, so that's enough. I can make videos. Listen, what if I, today I have been making videos from my phone in the car. A little mini handheld tripod that I held while Nina drove and I filmed. That's enough. Um, next, it's like very basic stuff. I'm not the gear guy. I don't think the gear makes a difference for the most part. Next is getting some clear audio. So like, this is pretty good. This will help you with clear audio. Um, otherwise, get a decent microphone. Next would be a little bit of lighting. So here, you know, we've got our chandelier <laughs> lighting us up. Um, but honestly, just facing a window usually gives you enough light for what you're doing. Um, and slowly, you can upgrade your camera and everything else, but it just doesn't make that big a difference. If you were in the editing business, then yeah, it makes a big difference. But for thought leadership kind of content, people over-prioritize the gear and your your mindset should be around how do I just make more content your thinking of what do I do next shouldn't be around what gear should I buy it should be around how do I make better content how do I make more consistent better content right uh, how many pieces of content are you making a day or a week right like if you're not at daily don't worry about gear if you're a daily maybe start to think about gear until you get to daily stop thinking about gear and focus all your efforts on making better content because the gear is not going to save you. But the skill set you'll develop in learning how to make content every day, that will serve you for life. It's getting really warm in this room. Maybe I'm just bringing too much energy. I like it. Okay, what else? Prairie Dodgers. I'm on day 14 of my no sugar challenge. Hey, if I take Christmas off my diet, do I have to start again at zero? Yes. 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 You don't just get a free gimme. This is raising our standards. You... you Cancel it, you go back to zero. Then Zan, is Zan still here in the chat? Let's see, is Zan still here? Zan is still here. So, so Zan and I started this challenge, uh, I don't know, 11 or 12 days ago. Actually, we started it 14 days ago, and we did it day one. And then day two, he ate some, what did you eat, Zan? Peanut butter cups or something? Reese's peanut butter cups? Something like that. He, he ate something. Um, I'm like, dude, now we got to start over. Like, but don't, I get a, don't, I, don't we get a cheat day? Like, no, it's a 90-day challenge. It's not a 90-day with cheat day challenge. It's a 90-day challenge. You got to go straight for 90 days. So, we, so then we both started over. Like, okay, it's day one again. It was a fun size Butterfinger. <laughs> What's a fun size? Is that a big one or a little one? Um, anyway, oh my God, Butterfinger sounds so good right now. We don't get enough Butterfingers in Canada. It's harder to find Butterfingers here. Uh, anyway, so yeah, no, if you, if you say that you're going to do... Uh, a challenge then you stay on it and then you start over at least that's how I would do it I mean up to you but the more you give yourself a break like that when you're in the middle of a challenge that that's what you train yourself to do then what's the next thing oh well I deserve this off too because it's New Year's right because New Year's you know you should have that off and then uh, and then it's like oh, I didn't sleep well last night 
So that's okay. I can give myself this off too. And then you just, it's just sliding scope and sliding scale of your standards just keep dropping as opposed to saying, no, I'm going to make this. This is when it's, when it's hard. That's when it counts. This is your chance to show yourself what you can do. So if it's me, I go all the way. I go all the way. What else? This is fun. Hi, what is your sign? Um, uh, I forget. So I'm a, uh, I'm a Taurus and a monkey. Taurus, one is Zodiac and one is Chinese, right? I'm a Taurus and I'm a monkey. But I'm 20 minutes away from being a Gemini, which the people in my circle who follow this stuff feel like, oh, yeah, I get it. That's why. Okay. So that's what I am. I don't know what that means for you, but that's what I am. How do I sell t-shirts on YouTube? Um, So one is... Look at one of the YouTube partners that's integrated with um, with T-shirt manufacturers. There's a bunch. The first one was Teespring. That's who I use. Teespring was the first. And now there's a bunch of, of partners that are verified. It's still not super widespread, but there's a bunch that you can use. And what that does is put you on the merch shelf. So under the title, there'll be a merch shelf where you can see different products. So then any YouTube video, you could have that underneath and people can go buy your products. Um, I'd be making aspirational content around what your t-shirts stand for. So not just buy my t-shirt, buy my t-shirt, because that's not going to be something that people will resonate. They don't, they don't want a sales video. But what's the theme of your company? What's the, what's the brand promise? So like, how do I feel better about myself because of your t-shirt? And then make videos around that. So if, I'm, if I really want to sell these hoodies, I would be making believe content, which I do. I'd be wearing this in everything which I do, and then I'd be linking up, hey, you want to buy this hoodie? It's in the description below, or check the merch shelf below. Good luck. Which mobile phone have you, which mobile phone have you using right now? Um, I don't know. This is the, this is the iPhone, not the, not the latest one, but the last latest one. What's the latest one right now? 11, 12? I don't know. Um, So this is the one just before with the three cameras and the max, whatever. Um, we've been looking at maybe getting the most recent one because I forget why. Really for me, it's just about the camera. Uh, the newest one has has 5G on it too, but the coverage on 5G isn't great. So I don't think it really matters yet. 12 Pro, that's what's out right now or that's what I have? I'm on the 11 Max Pro, there you go. Where were where dog training? Where are you dog training? Yeah, so I'm on the 11 Max Pro, apparently, and looking at the 12, it's really just, is the camera a lot better? Why I like the 11 uh, is the built-in stabilization. So if you're moving around, it, if you're on the go and moving around, it has that built-in stabilization for you, which is awesome. So if I'm filming videos in a car, it's not like going all over the place crazy. We are dog training, there you go. <laughs> that makes sense. We are dog training. Apologies. Um, yeah, so I don't know. We might. I might get the 12. It's really if the camera's better. I don't, I don't care about any of the other stuff, really, that comes on a phone. I don't, I don't use it uh, that much apart from creating content, which I use a lot for. Uh, good. What else? What else? What else? What else? M. Has, has Nink. Life advice for 17 year old kid, try, taste, explore, test, right? Like you don't know what you want yet. So you got to go and, and try a bunch of stuff out. Say yes, find the smallest way to get started and try it. Whether it's starting a business, whether it's cooking, whether it's relationships, like you say yes and you find the smallest possible way to get started. Chances are the thing you want to do is not what your parents did. It's not what, it's not what your guidance counselor wants you to do. It's not what your teachers did. You want to do something else. Uh, but you won't know by thinking about it. I can't tell you what the thing is that you want to do. You have to go and try a bunch of stuff until you find something that you really like and you want to go back and do it again. Zan has a 12 Pro and loves it. Yeah, is it that much better than the 11 Pro Max? That's it. Like, if I was filming this on the 12 Pro, would it look a lot better? If yes, I'll think about it. Oh, if yes, I'll do it. Uh, Otherwise, I don't really care. Like, phone is fast enough. This is a good phone. Okay. 
Next, driven dot lifestyle in the house. Oh, lifestyle with a Y. Look at that. Evan, what are your tips to deal with a loss? I recently started a merch line and no one ended up buying. It was a little, okay, too long. A little disappointed, probably again, I guess there. Um, it's just another step, man. Like I just expect things not to work at the beginning. The problem is the expectations were too high. You thought, hey, I'm going to have a, it's so easy. I'm going to have an Instagram account. I'm going to talk about the driven lifestyle. I'm going to have my merch drop and it's going to pop. And then it doesn't happen. You keep going. Right? It's like, okay, that didn't work. You just keep going. It doesn't mean that merch can't work. It's just you haven't built up enough of a following yet. People maybe don't like the line that you created. Awesome. It doesn't mean that you suck. Just, just a step back. You just keep going. Another step. Another step. Another step. Like the best thing you can do, how do you deal with the loss? Best thing you do is today, go make more content. Go design a different uh, line of clothing. Like you just keep going. Keep making. Teach yourself that the way out is not to just spend a week or a month or a year in complaining mode, being negative, being upset, being depressed. It's action. The only way out of this hole is action. The only way forward is action. The only way towards your dreams is action. You're talking about the driven lifestyle. This is it right now. Getting the driven lifestyle isn't sitting and thinking about your losses. It's about getting up one more day and doing it again and doing it again and doing it again. So keep going. Get momentum today. If someone is afraid to die, what should he or she do? Focus on the life you've got. Like use that to say, I've got a limited amount of time left. Maybe that's tomorrow. Maybe that's in a year. Maybe that's in 20 years, 50 years, 100 years. Great. How are you going to use that to then push yourself to do something? Right? If you're going to die tomorrow, that might change what you're going to do today. If Driven Lifestyle is going to die tomorrow, he's not sitting there worrying about the loss that he just took. It's like, I got to make today count. So use that to make today count. And tomorrow and the next day to go create something and have an impact. Sanjay, good luck. Uh, some great sessions. Great sessions. See you at Movie Makers Thursday. All right, Christina, see you there. SOFK23, some great books you have read recently. If you look at my Instagram, I show usually once a week the books that I am reading or about to read. So I think on, it's usually I post them on Sundays. So what today is today? Tuesday. So if you go back a couple of days, you'll be able to see uh, the most recent one is a stack of seven books on a red background. So those are the seven books that I'm reading right now. And then... This Sunday, I'll probably post the ones that I'm about to read coming up. And so I rotate between those two. I'm a super slow reader, though, right? I read 10 pages a day. That's the goal um, from a different book. So it takes me a long time to get through a book. I just don't get most of my learnings from books. So, uh, yeah, I, I just prefer to watch videos. But if you want to see what I'm reading, I post it to Instagram consistently. Okay, what else? This is good. Catalan. We're, we're already a little overtime here on this, but we're having fun. And Nina is still, she's still in there with that scary machine. So we'll see. We'll see what happens. What should I do to find my own path? Um, Built to Serve is going to be your, your best, like, in-depth answer. I would go pick up Built to Serve or get the audio book. Um, that's, that's why I wrote the book for people who are trying to figure out their path. But you have to figure out Three things, you know, who you are, you got to figure out your why, and you got to figure out your how. Your who, your why, your how. Nina, you're done? Are you ready to go, Nina? Nina says she's done. Well, I'm, I'm a little over on this, so we can go if you need to. But your who, your why, and your how. You figure those out, you're set up, um, you're set up for life. Like your who and your why, who you are and, and why you do what you do won't change. For life like you figure that out it's why it's so important to do you figure that out you're set for the rest of your life how you do it will change with time with technology with everything else nina says two minutes all right two minute warning um but yeah i would pick up a copy build the server get the audiobook if you like that and then come back on a live or join the gaming channel and uh, ask your questions and we'll try to help uh okay what else what else what else what else what else how to consume content as fast as you do? Uh, be willing to 
dump things that aren't working. You know, it, it, I'm, I'm super quick to jump off of something if I'm not getting value from it. I think people stay with something too long. Just because you start a book doesn't mean you have to finish it. You know, if you're reading the book and you're not getting value in the first chapter, dump it. Move on to something else. If you're watching a video, you're not getting value in the first minute, dump it and move on to something else. So I will quickly move on from something that's not bringing me value, which allows for opportunity for something else to come in to bring you more value. Uh, Eccentric boy. How do you organize your thoughts? I think visually. So I think in pictures. So when I'm trying to organize my thoughts on something new, I'll try to, I'll often write things out or, or draw it out on paper or even inside Evernote or an email. I'm just trying to, I need to, I need to see it when I can see it, then I can execute against it. If I'm just talking about it, it makes it super difficult. I don't remember what I said. (laughs) What was the first, second or eighth question on this live stream? I have no idea. I don't remember. It's a, it's a stream of consciousness, but when I can circle it and draw it out and create my roadmap, um, it's a lot easier for me to organize my thoughts. But I'm a visual learner, so that works for me. It may not work for you, depending on how you think. Um, what is your opinion on TikTok? I like it. I'm playing with it. Oh, the door's opening. The door's opening? No? Kind of opening. I'm playing with it. Um, there's definitely opportunities there. It's a, it's a faster way to grow than a lot of other platforms. Um, I still think YouTube's number one by, by a giant stretch. I would still put Instagram number two. Uh, it's likely more of where your ideal audience is. TikTok, the stuff that blows up the most is still the stupid stuff. Um, but getting more into education. You know, I, there was a, a friend of mine who uh, does educational content. And he posted a video and then he said, I got my first million views on TikTok on one video. TikTok is where all the audience is. And I went like, wow, this is awesome. I love that. How does he do it? And I went to go watch the video and it was about him and his son with a fart cushion or something. It's like, oh, okay. Well, I could make, I could get a million views on a video if I said the 10 stupidest things about somebody, right? As opposed to trying to teach and be educational and be positive. So uh, it's still a little bit harder in the thought leadership world. TikTok still hasn't evolved to the point where people are going for education. So it depends on what you're doing. You want to be a comedian, you're a singer, you're an artist, um, you're a comedian, you're uh, something that's super visual. Um, great. TikTok can really blow up for you. Education, thought leadership. It's not there yet. It's getting there. It's getting there more and more every day, but, but it's not there yet. Um, now I'm playing with it, so I'm experimenting. Um, if we start getting tons of traction off of it, then awesome. Are we going? Yeah. We're going. Okay, that's it. Thank you for the love, guys. I got to go. Nina's ready. Her face is done. <laughs> oh, I got to get back. I have a 3 o'clock meeting. Um, appreciate you. Back on tomorrow. Tomorrow's Wednesday? Yes, back on tomorrow. Tomorrow will be our last Instagram Live for over a week. So hopefully we'll see you there at 2 o'clock Eastern. Appreciate all the, the vibe and the love. Continue to believe. I'll see you soon.